everyone in this video we are going to create an amazon alexa skill using voice flow so this is what we are going to create and we are going to upload our alexa skill onto our alexa device so let's see that first and then we will start making this alexa open read which audiobook would you like to listen to sherlock holmes Great choice. I found a book. Story number two in the adventures of Sherlock Holmes. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Alexa, stop. Alexa, open read. Which audiobook would you like to listen to? William Shakespeare. Great choice. I found a book. Tragedy of King Richard II by William Shakespeare. This is a LibriVox recording. Alexa, All li stop. Now let's start making what we just saw. So when you create a new project, this is what you're going to get. At the top, we have Amazon Alexa and you can change it to Google Assistant also. In the settings, we have uh, the project name and the invocation name and you can change that too. On the left, we have uh, steps from which we are going to choose our blocks. So in the interaction, we have speak, choice and other blocks. And we have many other options also. All right. To start with, let's go to our interaction and choose the speak block. So drag this. It says what Alexa will say. So we want Alexa to say which audio book would you to listen. Right. With this, you can you can add some effect to it if you want, like volume. You want very soft or uh, loud. You can also change the Alexa voice. I'm going to keep it as a default as of now. All right, and you can change the name of the block. Since we are choosing a book from this block, I'm, I'll re I'll rename this as choosing a book. Now, when the when Alexa says this, the user is going to respond with the name of the book, and then Alexa is going to choose that book. So, for this, we are, we are going to use the choice block. Drag this. So it says name new intent or select existing intent. So for this particular skill, I have three books that I want Alexa to choose for me. So the first book is. Uh, a Sherlock Holmes book so I can create a new intent for this let's say Sherlock click on create now it says utterances now utterances is what a user is going to say user is going to say for this particular question so which audiobook would you like to listen and the user might say Sherlock Holmes or he might say uh, the name of the book uh, so let's say it's red or he might just say Sherlock. So anything uh, the user might say that you that you have to add it over here. So the more number of utterances you have, the better Alexa is going to understand and is going to choose the right book for you. All right. So let's say Sherlock Holmes or Sherlock. You can also add the, add the name of the author. So uh, I have three utterances. Let's keep it three for now. Let's connect our first block with the second block. So you can do this by doing this. And now what we have is uh, the user has said one that uh, he wants to listen to Sherlock Holmes. So we have we can have another speak block saying Alex. I will say I found a book. Right. and then what we can do is in the platform section you will find a block named a stream choose that and here you can add the URL of the uh, audiobook all right so I found uh, one website uh, which has free audiobooks so I'll take that now so in the previous project I already had that so I'll just copy that link For Sherlock Holmes, let's go 
P, Control C, and we will paste it here. All right. So we have now uh, the audiobook link. So let's connect this now. Rename a block as Sherlock. All right. Now what we what we need to do is we need to add a second book also, second and third book. So let's go on a choosing a book block. Now minimize this, and now you can see add a path. All right. So you can add a path. So here you can uh, enter your new uh, book intent. So the second book uh, was about uh, is uh, written by Shakespeare. So let's say William S. William as the new intent. Let's create this. So the utterances will be uh, the name of the book, which was Tragedy of King Richard, and you can maybe add the author's name also and you can add other utter utterances also right so we have two books now two intents now let's create the second book also speak Alexa will say I found a book And then we go back to our stream block and then you can paste your URL again here all right and this is how you can create your second intent working and connect your blocks now what's going to happen is if you uh, if the if Alexa does not understand what you just said we need uh, that too also so if it doesn't understand what to do, what we are going to do is we have an else statement. So if this intent and this intent doesn't work, it's going to go in the else. All right. So in the else, we can put another speak block which says, sorry, I did not understand what you just said. All right. And what we do is we connect this over here all right and when this particular uh, sentence uh, Alexa says we want uh, this back over here which uh, which says which audiobook would you like to listen so when these two intents of these two books uh, Alexa couldn't find it's going to say sorry I did not understand what you just said and then it's, it's going to again ask you which audiobook would you like to listen all right so this is how you can create a simple uh, alexa skill for your personal use so the one that you saw the video it was this particular project all right so if you want to check your alexa skill you go into the prototype tab and it says start test so you can enter your response let's say Sherlock this is I found the book and now the link is playing all right so our Alexa skill is working go back to your design and you want to upload your Alexa skill to your Alexa device you just click on upload to Alexa one thing you need to make sure is that your voice flow account and the Alexa app that you created and configured your Alexa device should be the same otherwise you are your skill won't be uploaded to your device all right so this is what we, you can make using voice flow so this is the entire uh, project that we saw the video of uh, I'll share this link I think so okay in the new versions of voice flow you can share the link only if you're in the pro version so i'm using the free version right now all right so this is what i wanted to show you in this particular video uh, we can make many many applications alexa skills using this either for our personal use or for other purposes also 
if you have any ideas uh, to create alexa skills you can tell us in the comment section below and we can come up with that particular skill and with a video of that skill too all right if you like our content please like share and subscribe thank you